हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू पेन एंड पेपर केमिस्ट्री ऑन यूट्यूब अ चैनल वेयर वी ट्राई टू मेक केमिस्ट्री इजी एंड फन फॉर एवरीबडी टू फॉलो इन टूडेज लेसन वी आर इंट्रोड्यूसिंग द टॉपिक ऑफ फिनॉल्स एंड एज यू विल स्टडी फर्दर यू विल रियलाइज दैट फिनॉल्स is a type of an alcohol but an aromatic alcohol now just because we introduce the aromatic bit of it along with the oh group there will be behaviors which are similar to alcohols but there will be behaviors in which or reactions in which phenols are very different from alcohols would you like to know note the similarities and the differences between them then in that case you need to be very very sure about the properties of alcohols so if you haven't done that so far please watch the videos on alcohols and make sure that you are thorough with the topic before going ahead with phenols it will be really helpful and don't worry there are videos on alcohols there is a mind map which gives you the complete set of properties and the preparation of alcohols yes this is the mind map that i am talking about it would be a bit blurred but if you see the topic the videos on alcohols you will be able to yes draw this flow chart yourself i'm going to test the difference between the behavior of alcohols and phenols so look at the boiling point what do you notice over here when we start comparing alcohols and phenols we are not just going to memorize what we have seen in the books what we are going to do is we will go say we'll say seeing is believing right so let us look at the data that we have listed over here the first one if you see i've taken i've compared the boiling point of different types of substances so let me take the first one so i've got ethane and i have got ethanol over here look at the boiling point Minus eighty nine degrees Celsius and seventy eight degrees Celsius. One is below the melting point of ice, and the other is close to the boiling point of water. Not so close, but yes, it is on the higher side. Look at n hexane and hexane one all. Both aliphatic, but look at the difference in boiling points. Look at benzene and phenol. 80 degrees celsius and 182 degrees celsius look at the difference so if you see over here the similarity between the behavior of alcohols and phenols is that the boiling point of both alcohols and phenols is greater than the boiling point of the hydrocarbons of corresponding molecular or molar mass right it would be good if you can go on writing with me it will be a good practice for you and me correct that is why the name of the ch channel is pen and paper chemistry now what explains this difference in the boiling point can you reason out over here yes very correct in the case of alcohols r o h what is this r r can be your ch3 it can be your c2h5 any of the alkyl groups here straight chain branch doesn't make a difference as long as there is i'm talking about the simple alkyl group oxygen is more electronegative so it pulls the electrons of the single bond towards itself acquiring a partial negative charge whereas hydrogen acquires a partial positive charge 
Same way for the second set, we have delta negative and delta positive. And the hydrogen atom of one molecule attracts the oxygen of the second molecule resulting in what type of a bond? Very correct. We get what we call as a hydrogen bond. Have you read about hydrogen bonding? If you haven't, then I've loaded separate video on hydrogen bonding covered under the playlist chemical bonding. It will be really helpful to explain a lot of things and a lot of behaviors in the case of organic compounds. Now, because there's hydrogen bonding, the two molecules, they will come closer to each other. Because they will come closer to each other, would you have to use less energy or more energy to pull them away from each other? Yes, more energy. So that means there is high, so there is bond, hydrogen bonding in the case of whether you talk about an aliphatic alcohol or you talk about an aromatic alcohol. So if I am talking about a phenol, Instead of an R, I can write AR. What is this AR? Phenol means I have a benzene ring, alternate double and single bonds and an OH. I have a benzene ring to which OH is directly attached. This is what is phenol, right? For this ring portion, instead of drawing the full ring, I am just simply writing it as AR. So we have AROH, AROH. Delta positive, delta negative, delta negative, delta positive. Again, there is a force of attraction, what we call as hydrogen bond. So hydrogen bond develops between the two molecules of phenol as well giving them a higher boiling point compared to the corresponding hydrocarbons. Got it? But let us also compare the boiling point of hexanol, that means having six carbon atoms, but is an aliphatic compound, and phenol again with six carbon atoms, but an aromatic compound. Yes, they differ in the number of hydrogen atoms. At the same time, you notice that there is a high difference in their boiling point, almost 30 degrees Celsius. How do you explain this behavior? Would you be interested in knowing? In the case of phenols, we observe a very interesting phenomenon. And what is that? Can you think of? One word which explains this difference in the boiling points of aliphatic and aromatic. Look at the structures. Probably that will give you an idea. CH3, CH2, 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 CH2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I need to add more. There we go. We have hexanol. So there's something that happens in the case of aromatic compounds which is missing in this aliphatic compound. It does take place in some aliphatic compounds. Yes, it's the phenomena of resonance. Now, here the electrons of the lone pair of electrons of oxygen can be shared with the benzene ring. With the result, what will happen? Now, oxygen is short of electrons, right? Because it is going to share its electrons with the benzene ring. I am not going to draw all the resonating structures. But just to give you an idea, we've already covered this under the topic of resonance. So, what will happen here? Negative. Correct. So, this way we can have a number of to more resonating structures. Because oxygen has shared it, its electrons with the benzene ring, now it is short of electrons. So if it is short of electrons, it is further going to pull the lone pair of electrons towards itself. Now when it does so, what will happen to the positive charge on the hydrogen? So hydrogen will be even more hungry, right? 
with the result when an aromatic compound undergoes hydrogen bonding just like an aliphatic compound where will the hydrogen bond be stronger yes the hydrogen bond would be stronger in the case of an aromatic compound as compared to an aliphatic one because the oxygen is capable of sharing its electrons with the benzene ring and that explains the difference in the boiling point but when you are comparing such properties you make sure that you draw the complete structure so supposing i would have taken branchian hexane over here or hexanol i would have taken different uh, uh so hexen uh, i would take hexen 2 all or hexen 3 all definitely the boiling point would be slightly different so whenever you have questions like this make sure that you draw the structure once you draw the structure the answer speaks to you you are able to see it as i said earlier don't memorize understand and then you won't have to memorize anything and that is what gives the joy of learning the next thing that we compare is the solubility of alcohols and phenols in water so let's again go back to the data right and analyze our results and give explanation for that look at the solubility of ethane it's 56.8 right but don't go on the number look at the unit it's milligram per liter very very slightly soluble look at n hexane 9.5 so the solubility has gone down so much because again it's milligram per liter look at ethanol oh surprising it's completely miscible ethanol completely dissolves in the water but if i compare the solubility of hexen 1 all it again is 5.9 g you see compared to ethanol the solubility of hexanol has gone down but it is definitely again higher than the aliphatic n hexane compare the boil sorry the solubility of benzene almost insoluble it's it the data says 1.79 g per liter but if we take it in number of moles it's considered as almost insoluble whereas when i talk about the solubility of phenol it's 8.3 g per liter this is considered as moderately soluble so first thing why are alcohols more soluble in water than the corresponding hydrocarbons well done all those who said hydrogen bonding again we are going to draw the structure so i have r o h and h o h so we will have negative positive negative positive i hope that the concept of hydrogen bonding is now clear to you all if it is not there are separate videos on the channel please take advantage of them so is there no hydrogen bonding in the case of aromatic alcohols logic tells us yes there should be right so i can write it as a r o h so there is aromatic sorry there is hydrogen bonding between the water molecules and the phenol so delta negative delta positive delta negative and delta positive but then why this differentiation look at the solubility of an aliphatic alcohol and look at the solubility of phenol what do you think is the difference in the behavior look at the structure in the case of an aromatic compound we have a ring structure which is non polar and heavy as well 
So do you think it will be happy to form hydrogen bond with water molecules like alcohols would be readily doing? Even in the case of alcohols, if the size of this alkyl group increases, look at this, you've got ethanol and you've got hexen one all. When the number of carbon atoms, that means the size of the non-polar part, the size of the part which is not happy to form friendships with water, when the size of that part increases, the solubility goes down. So in the case of phenols, the aromatic alcohols, what happens over here? The aromatic, the non-polar part is bigger. It prevents or it reduces the extent of hydrogen bonding between an aromatic alcohol and water. Why? Because now the van der Waals forces which will be there between the non-polar parts will become stronger. Thus reducing the extent of hydrogen bonding. See the difference, the way the hydrogen bonding plays a part in the behavior and the nature of substances. In the next video, I am going to talk about further differences between phenols and alcohols which decide their chemical properties. So stay connected with your pen and notebook in hand so that you can take down notes for offline reference. Till then, please take good care of yourself. Stay happy, stay healthy. See you in the next video.